Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to season 19 of Classic Who. If you are new here, my name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. I would love it if you would like to stay. So, um, it's time for me to finally start the fifth Doctor. Um, I do just want to say, normally I don't look at the title um, because I, I just kind of let Britbox run, so I don't ever have to really look at the title, but um, it's popped up on my screen that it is Castro Valva. And I normally get the the screen, like the pre-title um, bit ready, and it's gone straight onto a screenshot of Tom Baker, so I'm assuming this is like a pre-titles bit, or we won't see the new titles until the end, or maybe the next episode, so that's just full disclosure. So I don't, I, do you know what, it's really interesting, because after the third Doctor left, I genuinely like went through a phase of not wanting to watch Classic Who for a really long time. Um, but I haven't really felt that with the fourth Doctor. I've taken a couple of weeks off just to kind of um, give myself a break from Classic Who and um, I probably will be taking it initially a bit slower with Classic Who, but I definitely haven't felt a sense of mourning the same way I did with the second and the third, which I think is just a really interesting thing. Um, also, I got one of the B&M sets. It was the only one left. It is the only set I have ever been able to find in B&M. Um, and it's the one with Ian from The Keys of Mariners, which is one of my favourites. So, very happy. Um, yeah, we've also had the news about Russell T Davies coming back. I'm probably not going to have the conversation on here because there's been a lot of party poopers over on Twitter. <laughs> um... Can we not just let people be happy if someone's coming back? Like, why Why do people have to spoil the fun? Like, I'm I'm happy he's coming back. I'm over the moon he's coming back. Um, so I'm, 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 I feel like I have a bit more faith now in the 60th. I still think they should listen to my idea and have it be the Autons. You know, if he wants to give me a call. Um, I'm, I'm happy to go through my, you know, my ideas with him. So... Let's go. A lot of you have been saying that you're really excited for me to start the fifth Doctor. This happens every time a new Doctor comes in, right? It's always someone's favourite. I definitely think I'm going to be more open to the fifth Doctor. When the fourth Doctor came in to replace the third, I was very shut off. Because the third Doctor, if you don't know, is my is my absolute number one with Classic Who so far. Like, no one's come close to him. Again, okay, maybe the second did. But um, so I'm I'm I feel quite open to the fifth doctor. This is a weird thing for me to be like quite welcoming of a new doctor. I'm excited to see what he brings. I'm also excited to see what happens with the companions because we've got three of them. I don't know who's going to carry over. So shall we begin? I thought he had blonde hair. Oh, hey, he's blonde. Oh, he's quite handsome, isn't he? So the master's just gone. These are secure premises. Now you lot have got some explaining to do. Go on, girl. I thought the whole point of this Pharos project of yours was to track down alien intelligences. I thought we'd save you the trouble and come to you. Oh, yes. Yes. We're what you've been looking for. Alien intelligences. See, that I come from somewhere up there. <laughs> Wait, was that was that old dude, the one from the Book of Dibley? Or am I just seeing things? This works the door. That's all I know about these controls. We can't take off without Adric. Doctor! I see off to 
don't know. No, I was deaf. I don't think he's from the book of David. Laddie, yeah, he's back again. Tegan! What's the matter? The master's TARDIS. Adric! Adric, where are you? Oh, no. Oh. oh. That's not the master, is it? See, I'm questioning everything. Oh, what? Something's up with that drip. Ah, you've come to help me find the zero room. Welcome aboard. I'm the doctor. Or will be if this regeneration works out. However many wars it has. There was a very good political <laughs> under the junior cell at Bocom Gallifrey, widely claimed for its healing properties. Romana's always telling me I need a holiday. Which one is she? Oh, Romana's gone. Romana's gone. Romana's gone. Really? Did she leave a note? Then you'd better stay here. I'll come with you. Yeah. Don't start separating. System ready for entry. Data bank. Of course, if we had an index file, we could look it up in the index file under index file. I say, I'm talking nonsense. Recursion isn't nonsense. Hey, that's an example of recursion when procedures fall back on themselves. If you had an index file, you could look it up in the index file. Big. My dad used to say that it was the most powerful word in the English language. Oh no. Oh dear. We've wandered into the wrong corridor. We must be close to the main TARDIS drive now. Jamie! Jamie! You go back! No, I have to stay with you, Doctor. No nonsense! Be sensible! Go back! When I say run, run! Don't you understand? The regeneration is failing. I thought his attitude changed then. He was being the second doctor. Right. D. S. Seems the old doc is coming unraveled in more ways than one. Look, you'd better go back to the console room. We're on a programmed flight. We won't crash. At least I don't think so. Patrick! Like, why is that outfit there just ready? Gosh. Oh, I really like this cricket-esque outfit. I think it's really smart. This is so it smells cool. like roses. Yes. I've never quite understood why. Goodness me, I'm tired. But there is 
isn't even a bed. Bed? Oh, I don't need a bed. Not in the zero room. Advantages of stark simplicity. Every one of you. You, Tegan. You have it in you to be a fine coordinator, keeping us all together during the heat of time. Nissa, of course, has the technical skill and understanding. All the information you need is in the TARDIS data bank. I'm sure you can find your way to me. So he's, we already have data. He's just going to leave them to it. Oh my gosh! Patrick, what are you doing up there? A trap! He's on the trap! The master! The master? Where? Me! I'm the trap! I locked the coordinates! Then... What? Patrick, hold on! I'm coming no. up to get you! No, this is me! It isn't me! It's an illusion! <laughs> Escape! Us! Escape! Simulator projections are real enough to have a will of their own. Almost. Can't, can't reach me in the zero room. Is that what you thought? Well, my dear young man, it's your own computational powers that made the block transfer possible. <laughs> we can't tell him Bust. now. He's in a dangerously unstable state. Great, so we haven't got the doctor. It's like the Christmas invasion all over again. Let's stay here and keep an eye on the doctor. So, what an intriguing first episode from the Fifth Doctor. When it started, I was a bit. The thing is, what's interesting is that we've led straight on from the last story, right? Which, in places, as much as I enjoyed it, there was definitely elements that I was a bit like, "What is going on?" So it's really interesting that we've carried straight on from that. But I also like it because it it just makes everything make sense a bit more interesting that the doctor is saying that this regeneration is different him saying names of people from the past was really interesting um especially like he was saying names from like the second and first doctor era and he mentioned the brigadier which just makes me like <laughs> um i really like his outfit I really liked that episode. I thought it was really, really intriguing. And I was only meant to be watching one episode today. But I might have to watch another one. Because the Masters got Adric. I don't know where they are. They are going... The TARDIS team are heading to the like the beginning of time. I still really like that we've got Tegan, Nissa and Adric. I still don't know how we're going to... Like, who we're going to end up with, whether, I mean, whether Adric just goes back to his con his planet and Nissa and Tegan stay, whether Nissa goes back to her planet and so does Adric and we're left with Tegan. We could have all three of them, but I just really like, I, I'm so relieved that we've had Nissa a bit more because I said, didn't I, when she went, that I feel like they'd missed an opportunity there. So I'm really glad 
we've got Nissa and Nissa and Tegan together are really good and I really like Tegan now actually I like her feistiness I like her gun her attitude she reminds me of Sarah Jane a bit so I really like that um I am just intrigued by where this is going to go I'm really excited to see more of the fifth doctor actually I am pretty much sold on him already he's got this real um I don't know he's almost got this like innocence about him at the moment and I really like that I think with the fourth doctor he was very I don't know the right word to use but I'm going to say this word but I'm going to take it with a pinch of salt I feel like sometimes the fourth doctor was emotionless with regards to apart from the last series regards to matters that were important Whereas with this Doctor, I feel like we're already seeing a bit of a softer side and I really love that. Um, so I'm super excited and I'm going to watch the next episode right now because I want to know what happens. So there we are, series 19. Okay, I mean it's still really early days but I'm happy with it and I'm happy with it because I think all of the Doctors had a good first opening story. So I hope that this story continues to be good. Also, the other Doctors were all on Earth. Obviously, the second. What was Patrick Troughton's first story? I actually don't remember Patrick Troughton's first story. But the third and the fourth, their stories were both Earth-based, initially. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to carry on watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you very soon for part two.